everybody welcome back to another video my name is John Aguilera and we have a new champion crowned for the WWE and that is Becky Lynch as well as Seth Rollins he slayed the beast and now we got Wrestlemania out of the way it is time for the Midwest Gaming Classic Classic Okay, so here is my top five, in no specific order, games I am looking for, or game related items, I should say, that I am looking for at the MGC 2019. So starting off with number five. For number five, well, first off, Gotta get buff like back in the day gamer so I can throw them elbows and get those really sweet deals at the MGC. But back to the topic here. Number five is a Mega Yarn Yoshi. I really got the pink one. I really got the blue one. I really got the green one. Now I need the really big Yarn Yoshi. It's so cute, cuddly looking. I want it. Had so much trouble finding it when it first came out and I still haven't found it. I always see it in the background of Do You Nerds videos. Now I really want it for myself. I know it was really hard to get when it first came out, but I think uh, it's time to pull the trigger if I see it out in the wild, or at the MGC I should say. I'm gonna get it. Hopefully for a really good deal. So that's my number five. And now moving on to my number four. It's actually two games, uh, same series, same franchise or whatever, and that is Mario Party 4 and Mario Party 5. I already got Mario Party 6 and Mario Party 7. Just looking to add more stuff to my GameCube collection and looking to party at the MGC. Obviously, I'm gonna take these shades. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna look like a tool, but that's all right, right? Right. All right, moving on to number three. I was actually thinking about adding three more Mary Kay and Ashley games for the Nintendo GameCube because uh, Mary Kay and Ashley 316 License to Drive is my favorite game. I'm just kidding. I got all of these because of Video Games Monthly back in the day. Um, I'm actually looking for a copy of Xenogears for the PS1. It looks like an amazing RPG. I have not tried it yet. I know it's highly recommended by my buddy Tommy. I just uh, I'm looking forward to finding a copy. It's fairly easy to find. So hopefully for a decent price, I'll pick it up this year, give it a shot. And uh, if you guys know of any other RPGs I should try out, uh, for maybe PS1 or Sega Genesis or something, let me know in the comments. All right, moving on to number two. I'm gonna have to pick Cubivore for the GameCube. Uh, I know it's like a $200 game, and I'm hoping I can find it around like the 150 range. It looks like a lot of fun, and I'm ready to add it to my collection. And uh, I'm out here to actually testing out my new video camera, the Osmo Pocket. Pretty cool, it's by DJI. And I got it on a selfie stick and a battery charger. I'm just testing it out, getting ready for the MGC. Just getting uh, used to this. It's pretty neat, pretty stable. Pretty excited about it, actually. Looks nice. Just walking around my backyard. And then for number one, it's actually a big list. A list of manuals that I'm missing from my GameCube collection all right here manuals and I'm gonna be looking for a lot of uh, those white precaution booklets as well and then um, some cases I need some cases for my loose games that I bought from GameStop so that's that's probably my biggest focus at the event is um, just finding a bunch of manuals I like manuals in my games. I'm not really a big completionist kind of guy. You know, I don't I don't mind if they're loose and stuff like for my like my Sega Genesis games. But uh, for my GameCube, I do want a complete set of that North American at least. So that's my main focus overall as a collector. And I just really love the console and the games for it. So there you have it, my top 5 for the Midwest Gaming Classic wish list, I guess. Excuse me. Most of the games on my list are fairly easy to find. Um, I will be buying a bunch more probably <laughs> at the event. Once I see it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I want this. And I want a lot of things. So, 
I'm um, looking forward to hanging out with a bunch of other YouTubers there and just friends that I'm going along with too. It's going to be a great time. It always is. Video Games Monthly is going to be there. Looking forward to hanging out with Back in the Day Gamer and um, Captain Algebra. Uh, looking forward to meeting Mega Dan and uh, Musty Hobbit over there. He's a good guy. So, alright guys, thanks for watching and until uh, next time.